All right, this problem says the product of two consecutive positive integers, odd integers, is 99. Set up an algebraic equation and solve to find the two integers. So the way I'm going to do this one is to say two consecutive positive odd integers is 99. So I'm going to call the odd integers x and y. Okay, let's call them x and y. So the sum, or the, sorry, the product, not x plus y, x and y, that's what I'm going to call them, x and y. It says that the product of them is 99. So I know that x times y equals 99. But I also know, since they're odd and they're consecutive, what do I know about how they're related to each other? What is consecutive? Consecutive means like 1 and 3 are consecutive odd integers. Six, 17 and 19 are consecutive odd integers. So I know that I know that x has to be equal to y plus 2. I know they're going to be two away from each other. That's what I know. So the key to these kind of problems is you need to come up with two equations for the two variables. And then you can solve the system of equations. So if you remember how you solve systems of, system of equations, there's lots of ways, you can, a couple different ways you can do it. But in this case, what you're going to want to do is plug one equation into the other. See how that's set equal for x already? Mm -hmm. Now someone might say, well, how do you know that, that x is the bigger one, not y? It doesn't really matter which one you call the bigger one and which one you call the smaller one. Another per someone else might also say, well, how do you know they're odd, not even? Well, you're, we're going to find out if they're odd or even. And there might be two answers, and we want the odd, the odd answer, not the even answer. But we're just going to trust that it's going to work out. Okay. So we plug that in, and this is what happens when I combine those together. I get y plus 2 times y equals 99. So I replaced x with y plus 2. And now my equation, I have one equation in one variable, and it's in terms of just y in this case. So now how do I solve an equation like this? Well, this is an, a quadratic equation. So the way you solve quadratic equations is, so, so this problem actually is both a system of equation problem and a quadratic equation problem. So you have to know both concepts. So there's my systems. I started with that. And now I'm going to solve this quadratic. Now, since it's equal to 99, notice it's already, it looks like it's factored, but it, it, factoring something doesn't help if it's not set equal to 0. Something has to be set equal to 0 for the 0 product property to be used. So I first have to make it into an equation. I'm going to distribute the y. I need to make it into standard form. And I'm going to subtract the 99 at the same time. Now I have it set equal to 0. Okay. Now that it's set equal to 0, I can try to factor it. If it doesn't factor, I can use um, quadratic formula or I can also use completing the square if you've learned that yet, which at this point in your algebra class, maybe you haven't learned yet. But if you know how to do it, there's, those are the three main ways to solve a quadratic. So this is going to factor. I can already tell because I'm good at factoring. Because 99 is 9 times 11, mm -hmm. and 9 minus 11 is 2, or 11 minus 9 is 2. So I'm going to make this y plus 11 and y minus 9. Can you see how if I multiply that back out, I'll get 2? Yeah. If I FOIL that back out, I'll get 2 as my middle term, mm -hmm. as my outside plus my inside. If you don't understand factoring, check out one of the factoring videos. All right, now that I have this something times something else equals 0, I can use the zero product property, which says now you can say that either y plus 11 equals 0 or y minus 9 equals 0. In this case, y equals negative 11. In this case, y equals positive 9. And now I look at the question again. It says the product of two consecutive positive odd integers. So which one do I not have to look at? Which of these two do I not have to? Yeah, I don't even have to consider negative 11 because that's a negative number, and I only want the positive one.
there's actually two answers that would work, but I don't need both of the answers. I just need the positive version of the answer. And so y equals 9, well, I'm not done yet. If y equals 9, what does x equal? You plug it back in. You plug it back in, exactly. Plug 9 in, and I get that x equals 11. So the two, the two integers... Solve to find the two integers. The integers are 9 and 11. Now, some people would just look at this problem and immediately say, duh, it's just 9 and 11. They would do like trial, like trial and error method until they found the right answer. But that's the algebraic way of setting up the problem and doing it.